Early in the pandemic, the government passed the Paycheck Protection Program, which provided funds to enable companies to keep employees on the payroll. One of the world's largest religious networks was approved for almost $4 million of taxpayer money. But soon after, it purchased a multi-million dollar jet. Lisa Guerrero had a few questions about that. The best is yet to come! Marcus Lamb is the charismatic leader of one of the world's largest religious networks, Daystar Television, which is also a very prosperous tax-exempt church. Daystar was recently appraised in over one billion dollars. He lives a life of luxury. Check out his mansion with a beautiful pool. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When the pandemic hit, Lamb's Daystar TV applied for the government's Paycheck Protection Loan Program, or PPP, to help pay employees' salaries and received $3.9 million. We've learned that just two weeks after being approved for millions of dollars in taxpayer funds, the church bought a private jet. It's a multi-million dollar 1997 Gulfstream 5, like this. The luxury aircraft, which Lamb says they got for less than half the market value, holds up to 14 passengers. Lamb says they were able to buy the Gulfstream with proceeds from an investment and the sale of its old jet, not by using government PPP money. And he insists the jet is for ministry purposes. But is that always the case? In July, he flew with his family from his home in Dallas to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where they posted these videos enjoying eight days in the sun. Look how his family described the trip on social media. Our amazing fam on vacay, wrote his wife, and his son posted lots of great memories made on our family beach vacation this year. But Lamb insists to Inside Edition that it was a, quote, working vacation, a leadership retreat with his family, who are ministers of the church too and were consumed with meetings. In September, Lamb and his family used the jet to fly to California for two days. When they returned to Dallas, they looked like they had time to play some golf. Lamb is known to be an avid golfer. All in one number four. And in October, Pastor Lamb flew with his wife and some friends to Naples, Florida, where they spent eight days vacationing and playing golf. He told us he had five meetings there and spoke at a church. Pete Evans is an investigator with the Trinity Foundation, a church watchdog group. They got millions of dollars from the government and then they spent millions of dollars on a private jet. It just looks bad. We recently caught up with Pastor Lamb as he arrived at Daystar's golf tournament outside Dallas. So your church received millions of dollars in taxpayer money and then two weeks later bought a private jet for millions of dollars. Can you explain that? Did you use taxpayer money to buy a private jet? No, we did not. Then what are you using? We had using our own that? money. Then what are you using that private jet for? Church business only? Absolutely. Then why did you take two vacations with that church jet, including to Florida last week where you played golf? Your wife posted on social media that she was on vacation. We did have vacation, but we also did several meetings with ministers while we were there. Then it was time for a round of golf. Bye. Earlier this week, after our inquiries, the church paid back the entire $3.9 million it received from the government with interest. An attorney for Daystar Network says it does not use charitable donations to fund its operations, including the purchase of that jet. It also says it complies with all laws.